Praise God. All right. Well, praise God. Welcome, everybody, to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Amen. Happy Sunday morning to you. And I want to say a, a happy, er, a, an early happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, feliz Domingo por la mañana y feliz Día de San Valentín. Uh, Pastor Jose and, Pat Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome to you, welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bear. Yes, Amen. Amen. And we want to welcome our to our uh, NBC family, all the visitors, and all those of you joining us by audio or video. Amen. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Yes. This is on a daily basis. God has something for you. Yes, He does. Amen. Yes. We need to have relationship. Amen. Yes. Have relationship. Allow the Word of God to uh, bless you, encourage you, change you, and Sometimes correct you. Yes. Amen. Sometimes, you know, you, we have GPS. And if you're going somewhere, you know, sometimes we need GPS, especially if yeah. you've never been there. Yeah. And it corrects you and tells you yeah. which way to go. Yeah. Well, we need the Word of God. That's our GPS. You know, hey, it's going to tell us. You, you're getting off course, you know. Yeah. So we have to renew our minds to the Word of God. So we know, hey, don't go there. Mm -hmm. It's time to, you know, get right. Ah, permita que la palabra lo correga. Lo, lo bendice, uh, nos anima, nos cambia y nos corrige. Amen. So praise God. We're going to be talking today about um, whose report are you going to believe? Yes. And I've gone through some things right now, and I just wanted to say, all those of you joining us, thank you for your prayers. I went through some things. I'm not going to get into it, but I went through some things that really uh, enemy tries to put me down. Amen. Uh, the Bible says he's talk, he comes to steal, kill, yeah. and destroy. Yeah. Amen. And that's what he was doing. But you know what? Standing on the word. And I'm standing yeah. on the word. Yeah. Yeah. And all of you watching this, you know, and all the family here, church family here, yes. they were praying. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I, I haven't been live. We haven't been live uh, for four weeks. Uh, four weeks. Amen. But I uh, thank God for uh, Bernard and, uh, and uh, Pam to put some plat, plat, what do they call them? Blast from the past. Blast from the past. So praise God. <laughs> so you still got the word. Amen. We need to get yeah. the word in us on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. Not just once in a while when we say, well, you know, feel down, you know, so I need to do this. No, we need to do it all the oh, time. Yes. Amen. Yes. So whose report are you going to believe? Are we ready? Amen. Before yes. we get too far, grab your swords, grab yes. your Bibles. Amen. Let's say it together. Yes. We're going to make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. Here we go. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm excited. I don't know about you. I want to give you this. Uh, this well, first of all, I want to say thank you to the praise team. Because uh, they sang some of my favorite songs. And I'm going to be sharing them with you in a few minutes. Amen. Listen, I've got a nugget here for you. When you turn your worries into worship, God will turn your battles into blessings. Yes. Amen. So, you know, when you feel down and out, don't just join the crowd, you know. Start praising God. You know, <laughs> when you don't feel like it, it's just when you want to do it. Yeah. Lord, I just want to right. praise you. The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you don't know what I'm going through. I know what I've been through, but you know, still, praise Him. Rejoice and be glad, yes. amen, for this new day because it's a new day to serve Him. Yes, yes. amen. And you know, and every day ain't gonna, ain't gonna be just peaches and roses. You know, it's gonna be. That's it. You know, he. Sometimes when your body is not good, you know, you got to tell. I'm not going by what my body's telling me. I'm going amen. by what the Word of God says. Yes. I'm not going by what the world says. I'm gonna go by what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. This is final authority, amen. amen. So we're gonna be talking about whose report are you gonna believe? The world, the doctor, the bills, uh, the rent, or whose report are you gonna believe? Yes, amen. You know, so let's be careful, amen. Listen to this. When when you turn your worries into worship, God will turn your battles into blessings. First Peter five seven says, "Cast some of your cares." Oh, <laughs> thank you. Cast all your cares, all your worries, all your anxieties on Him. Why? Because He cares for you. Because yes. He loves you. For God so loved the world. Yes. Go go to the next one, Carmen. Thank you, Lord. Here's your uh, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I say, what scripture is best for Valentine? Uh huh. If you notice this, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, John 3, 16. Yes. And it spells Valentine's. Yes. Amen. Praise God. 
He gave his heart. We need to give our hearts to him. Amen. So, 1 Peter 5, 7, New King James. Cast all cares on him because he cares for you. And uh, Psalms uh, 55, 20, 22 says, this is an uh, easy to read verse. It says, giving all your cares, all your worries to God because he will care for you. He will never let those who are good be defeated. Amen. Amen. He's not going to let you. But you know, let's have relationship with him. Let's not lose touch with him. Right. Amen. And I'm going to read you a few more things in a few minutes. But that's okay. Let's go get started. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So who's reporting you going to believe? We're going to believe the report of the Lord. I am going to believe the report of the Lord. I don't know about you. You know what people are saying. You know what so-and-so is saying. You know what the world says. But what do you believe? I'm going to believe. And I'm going to stand on the yes. report of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So. Mm -hmm. so praise God. We're living in a world full of contrasting reports. Mm -hmm. Satan and his world gives you the bad, the negative report. Let's not. You know. <laughs> we're supposed to spread the word. Not the bad news. We're the, we're, we're the church of the gospel. The good yes. news. Not the church of the gossip. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> so we bring the good news to people. Amen. Let's remember, let's remember that. Bring good reports. Amen. Yes. God and believers give a good and positive report. Yes. We're supposed to give good reports. Right? Yes. Sometimes we got to be careful. Remember, death and life are the power of the tongue. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The most powerful thing that you have is your words. Uh -huh. Let's not be cheap about that, you know, because yeah. we can say negative things real easy. Because we know them, so we just shoot our mouth out. Uh -huh. But you're shooting words. Words are carriers. Words yeah. are seeds. And they carry yeah. life or they carry death. So let's be careful how we choose. Sometimes it's best just to zip the lip. And don't say nothing. <laughs> yeah. Amen. That's not, some of us uh have machine guns we got to be careful not to just blast off anything you know i had to give them this i had to tell them this no mm -hmm. just hold it <laughs> if jesus can do it says we we can do what he can do. amen we can do all things through christ who strengthens us amen so whose report are you gonna believe a lot of reports coming from all sources but whose report are you gonna believe they may hey we have media now we have uh radio whatever right. everything amen. you hear from everywhere so be careful. You know, we have friends and, and we go to work and we go to store. We go different, all kinds of places. And you hear things. Thank God we have great hearing. We can hear well. And you hear them. But you know what? Don't let them attach on to you. Amen. Renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. Let them go. Whose report are you going to believe? Too sad. Even some Christians let negative or bad reports uh, rob them of God's best. Yeah. I was going to say this in another in, another, in in a few more minutes, but I'll say it right here. We limit ourselves, uh -huh. and we limit our God. Yeah. Uh -huh. right. Amen. There's no limits in God, but we put uh -huh. limits to God. But we compare Him to the world. We compare Him to worldly things instead of knowing that God, through Christ, we can do all things. Right. Yeah. There's no mountain, no, no problem bigger than my, our God. Amen. But we put the limits on Him. Uh huh. Say, yeah. you know, take the limits off. So you're keeping him back mm -hmm. because we're limited him. Yeah. But there's no limits in God. Yes. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. That's an amen Lord. right there. <laughs> Many block their own blessings with a negative report. Mm -hmm. We got to be cautious of what we're saying. Yes. Amen. So we block our own report, our our, our, our blessings. Amen. Uh, some of the. Uh, let me see them. We block our own blessings with the negative report. Yeah. Daily. And don't even know it. Uh-huh. Some of us just say, I can't do that. Mm. That's one of the favorite words. <laughs> I can't do that. You know, Noah says, I can't build an ark. I don't even know what an ark is. Moses yeah. says, I can't I can't talk well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we all have some yeah. things that we just shoot off real easy. Oh, boy. I, I can't. I can't, uh -huh. I can't, I can't, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. I can't go to college. You know what? Because nobody in my family ever went to college. So oh, you know what? Be the first one. I, I can't go. Be uh, the uh, first uh, one. Uh, Amen. Uh, Praise uh, God. <laughs> I can't start my own business. Why? Because mm -hmm. I don't have money to start. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. 
this just some basic uh, things that I'm saying here. Yours yeah. may be a little different, you know? Mm -hmm. So people, generations, traditions, mm -hmm. setbacks will limit us, you yeah. know, because which is still there. Yeah. We gotta break that, break that and, and move on up with him. He says I can do all things through all Christ. Things. That all stops things. everything right yes. there. Amen. Amen. I say, wait well, a minute, I'm gonna I'm gonna do what God tells me to do. Yes, yes. And I'm changing. Change is good. Yes. I can't be healed. I'm always sick. I'm always catching. You know what? Every flu season I always catch a flu. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. Well you see what you're saying. <laughs> You're confessing yeah. negative things, yes, you are. and you could, you could have what you say. That's mm -hmm. it. Amen. And even if you so, even even if you tell somebody something negative mm -hmm. or something bad, mm -hmm. it's still coming back at you. Oh yeah. Well, I just have to tell them. No, no. Well, I'm glad you told them, but guess what? It's mm -hmm. coming back on you. Yes. Yeah. We, we we can stop that. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can stop that. Many give up faith. Many give up hope and quit. Before receiving right. God's best That's or God's it. promise. Magnify your healing. Mm -hmm. Magnify your God, your blessing, and not the problem. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not the sickness or the lack of whatever the situation is. Right. You know, we're so quick to magnify the problem before we even magnify God. Exactly. That's it. You know, we, we, we need to stop it. Yeah. We, got, we, better, we got to change that. Right. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Right. Amen. 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 Seek you first the kingdom of God. Lord, deliver me from negative self-talk. Sometimes we, we have to. Lord, I need your help. You know, and we need to read more in the word and be with you yeah, more. Absolutely. And we'll yes. change our, our patterns. We'll change our, our thinking. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we change our heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now we're saying <coughs> now we're saying the positive things. Yeah. And you know what? Sometimes when you change the way you was. <laughs> You'll change. People stop following. Yeah. People stop following, mm -hmm. and you're gonna get a new, you know, a new crowd, new friends, new ways. Because God is bringing the right people around you. That's gonna bless you, increase you, Amen. For better things, Amen. Come on now, say Amen or Amen. amen. <laughs> That's it. Lord, deliver me from uh, uh, negative talk, reports, and help me to speak the faith-filled words. You know how you're going to speak up faith your words? By opening the word of God. Well, God never talks to me. Well, when was the last time you opened your Bible? Amen. Because if you open your Bible and read it, he's talking to you. Mm -hmm. you're, you're his favorite person, but guess what? He's not going to, you're not opening. <laughs> we got to yeah. open up. Amen. For him to come in, we got to open up. You know what yeah. advice, you know what advice the devil is? Uh, your words. Yeah. We're opening the door for the enemy to come in by our negative reports. You say, oh, okay. He just yeah. goes straight in. We got to speak the word of God yes. and invite him in Amen. so he can come and do what he needs yes. to do. Amen. Amen. Help me to build up and not tear down. Yes, that's God, good. Remember that. We got to build up and not tear down. We're so quick. We're real good at tearing down. But, you know, when you pass that person up, or instead of tearing them down, they're already down and out. Yeah. Why don't you give them a yeah. kind word. Yeah. Say something yeah. nice to him. Yeah. Amen. Because that's what God wants us to do. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. Start building up your foundation with faith-filled words. Yes. You know, hey, well, I want a solid foundation. I yes. want to stand on the rock. I want to stand yeah. on him. But we got to speak those words. Yes, we got to speak the right things. Amen. Yes. Woo. Positive confessions. Positive yes. reports. Mm -hmm. And we can do it. Because yes. the Bible says we can do all things. All things. Amen. <laughs> Whose report are you going to believe? Isaiah 53 and 1. Uh-huh. Oh, there you go. Keep Go to the next one. Whose report are you going to believe? I, yeah. or you can put your name there, uh -huh. will believe the report of the Lord. Amen. His report says, I am healed. Yes. His report says, I am filled. Yes. And his report says, I am free. Mm -hmm. Amen. I mean, that's a great song they sang today. Yeah. Who, whose Lord. report are you going to believe? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. And his report says victory. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to stop being a victim now. Yes. Because you're a person of victory. Amen. I'm, I'm victorious in Christ. Amen. 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 So let's remember these things. And things that are going to change. Yes, they they have to change. Yes. When you start speaking the word of God. Mm -hmm. When you start 
stepping out in faith, when you yes. start stepping out in Christ, things will change. Yes. Amen. They have to. That's right. So I have a, a few uh, reports I want to share with you. Amen. And uh, we all know these things, okay? Uh -huh. So I'm just going to read them. Listen to this. Numbers in Numbers 13, 1 through 33 says Moses sent out twelve spies, one from each tribe, to scout the uh, land of Canaan, the mm -hmm. promised land. He had already given this land, mm -hmm. but he says sent twelve spies. Mm -hmm. Amen. So ten came back with bad reports. No, oh, <laughs> uh, ten of the twelve uh, spies brought back negative report and showed little faith in the doom and gloom report. And they gave about the land. They were slandered what they believed God had promised them. Uh -huh. He had promised them, you know, but they still sent 12 spies. Mm -hmm. They did not believe with God that God could help them. That's right. And the people as a whole were persuaded that it was not possible to take the land. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you got people all around you all the time oh, saying, yeah. speaking bad reports. Oh, yeah. You could give them a good report saying, mm -hmm. hey, my God is able. Mm -hmm. My God Amen. can help. Yes. Yes. My God can change. Yes. Amen. And then two good reports, Joshua and Caleb. Yep. Two of the spies brought back a good report and believing. Yeah. Oh, let me, let me, mm -hmm. let me go back and finish with the uh, with your with your bad report here. Amen. I'm getting, I'm excited. I feel bad. And I'm getting a little ahead of, ahead of, ahead of myself. But anyway, with the bad report, this was the report. We entered the land. Uh huh. You said this to explore, and it was indeed a bountiful oh, country, a land flowing with milk and honey. And here's some of the fruit we brought back. Oh, but the people living there are powerful, and their towns are uh, are large and fortified. Mm. We saw giants there, oh, the descendants of An Anak. Mm. Amen. He says, <laughs> we saw giants there, the yeah. descendants of Anak. He says, yeah. next to them, we're like grasshoppers. Uh -huh. And that is what they brought back. Oh my goodness. What about us? You know? Yeah. There's giants out there on a oh, daily yeah. basis when you step out. That's it. Whose report are you gonna believe? Are you gonna believe God's report? Are you gonna uh -huh. believe the world's report? Yes. There's giants everywhere you go, and you can see yourself as a grasshopper, or you can uh -huh. see yourself with a mighty God. Yes. Amen. You know, he says he's God on the mountain, he's God in the valley. Doesn't matter. You yes. know, he's going to see you. We have a giant God. Uh, God. Yes. Our God is mightier and bigger than any problem out yes. there. Okay? <laughs> Come on now. Mm -hmm. So anyway, good report. Joshua and Caleb says, <laughs> these two, two men brought back good report. Believing God would help us succeed. Mm -hmm. They were the only men from that generation permitted to go in the promised land. Yes. After the time of the wandering. Yes. And here's their report. Says Caleb tried to uh, quiet the people as they stood before Moses. Mm -hmm. Let us go once and take the at once and take the land. He says we can certainly conquer it. Yes. But the other men who had explored the land with them mm -hmm. disagreed. Oh my goodness. Says man, mm -hmm. we ain't coming again. He said yeah. we can't go up against them. Right. They are stronger than we are. Mm -hmm. So they spread the bad report. Yeah. Somebody's going to spread some bad things about you. Oh, boy. Or you, he, uh, mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. You know, you got peace about you because That's you it. know Man. you and God. That's it. You have a relationship. Amen. Yes, so, we can go against them, sister. You know, know who your God is and know who you are and know who's backing you every yes. time and everywhere you go. God is always with you. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That's He's it. with us all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't care what giants you're facing. That's it. Greater is he that's in me that's than it. he that's in the world. Yeah. And I can depend on him and I can rely on him. Yeah. Here's the thing is, the majority is not always right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Well, the majority is going this way. Wow. That might be going to hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going this way. Yeah. Remember, you're not alone. Right. God is with you. Always. Yes. You're not alone. God is with you. Always. Yes. always. He never leaves you nor forsakes That's you. Right. Amen. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And he is with me. Believing the right report is not always popular. Oh, I know. You know, hey, you want to be a world pleaser or you want to be a God pleaser? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
I want to please God, you know. So you know what? When you when you turn to God and you be a God pleaser, mm -hmm. some of those folks are just gonna fall away. Yes, yes. Amen. Well, you go ahead, go. Let her, let her go. Caleb had to stand in the midst of the majority and right. say, he and Joshua, the majority, the, the minority, minority yeah. could handle the giants. We can handle the giants. You know yes, why? Because I know who I am. Yes. I know who I am and I know yeah. who's backing me. That's right. it. You know, just like little David going against the giant. Hey, don't be talking about my God like that. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. it. That's His it. report was, hey, I'll take you down. Mm -hmm. My God is bigger than that giant. Mm -hmm. He knew. And we yes, need to know the same thing. When you get full of the word, yeah. you're ready. You're ready for battle. And you know what? It's a battle. Yes, it is. Every day is a battle. Yes. And you know, in the mind is a battlefield. Mm -hmm. yes, and you got to stand strong and renew your mind through the things of God. That's it. Because if he's not getting you out there, he's going to get you here. Yeah. Depends on what you're thinking. That's it. What's your, what are you thinking about? Defeat? Mm -hmm. Or are you thinking about victory? Mm -hmm. Amen. I, said, no, I ain't giving up. Renew your mind mm -hmm. with the word or you're going to fall just like the world mm -hmm. and start thinking like that and going with the negative report. Mm -hmm. I'm yes. not receiving that. Hey, right. you know, COVID's going around. Uh, flu is going around. Mm -hmm. And everybody's catching it. Yeah. No, not everybody ca is catching it. That and even right. if I catch it, I'm going to stand on God. Right. Yeah. I'm going to stand on the word. Amen. That's and I see myself yeah. well and I see myself yes. ill. We get focused on the big reports, on the bad reports, and forget about yeah. the small reports mm -hmm. about God. You remember, they all came by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. That's a good report. Mm -hmm. We all have, you know, hey, we all have a past, but you yes. know what? It's, it's in the past. Leave it there. Mm -hmm. Unless God says, use your testimony. Share your testimony. Yes. Share your testimony. But that's going to bring victory, you know, because I'm a child of God now. Yes. Hallelujah. We focus on the big or the bad or the big reports, the blessings, and forget about the small ones. We focus on them. We need to focus on the blessor and not just yes. the blessings. Yeah, Some yeah, of us yeah. get wrapped around the blessings wow. yes. and we forget about our God. Uh -huh. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't have any blessings. Right. So yeah. don't forget that. And this is why I wrote this is we limit ourselves and we limit him. Mm -hmm. Take the limits off God. You yes. can do it. Because you know what the word of God says. Right. So quit talking in a negative report. Mm -hmm. Quit talking a bad report and start speaking what the word of God says. Yeah. He is almighty and bigger and more powerful than any mountain, bigger than anything. Mm -hmm. He's God on the mountain and he's God in the valley. Mm -hmm. I love that song. Amen. Mm -hmm. But on a daily basis, we go through the same thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, have you ever prayed the, 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 the uh, <laughs> wow, Psalms 23? No, yeah. Amen. God is with us, you know. Yeah. Even though I go through the valley of shadow of death, God is with me. Yes. He never leaves me nor forsakes me. Let's, let's remember this, church, because we do. We forget, you know, uh -huh. because if you're not in relationship, you're going to feel lonely. And the enemy uh -huh. knows by the way you talk, by the way you <laughs> act. He's, he knows, and he's going to come. And, he, yeah. you know, you're going to feel, <laughs> you're going to feel fear. If, if, you're fe <laughs> fe if you feel uh, fear, <laughs> you got to get in, in, in touch or you got to get it in relationship yes and build your faith up yes. we're, we're to step out in faith and not fear i've not given you a spirit of fear but a power love and of a sound mind That's it. Amen. Amen. so we're not stepping out in fear and we're not receiving fear he's not giving us a spirit of fear amen says the just shall walk by faith we need to walk by faith amen <laughs> exodus 23 and 1 says you shall not circulate a false report. Do not put your hand with the wicked to be an unright righteous witness. Uh -huh. Let me read it to you in an easy to read version. <laughs> it says, don't tell lies against other people. Mm -hmm. If you're a witness in court, don't agree to help a bad person. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> be careful. Yeah. Well, I want to be a witness. Well, make sure when you're being witness, yes. you say the right thing. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Praise God. For some more examples, Simon Peter mm -hmm. in uh, Luke 5 and 8 mm -hmm. says, It came to pass that the people pressed on him 
Jesus was going to speak. And the people were pressing him. And man, they pressed him and pressed him and pressed him. He was all the way down to the lake shore. Right, right to the shore. So he borrowed a boat yeah. from uh, Simon Peter. He says, I want to borrow your boat. And he, he went out into the water. And you know, people didn't go into the water. <laughs> mm. But he went into the water and, and he taught him. He was teaching him. And when he was done, he told Simon Peter. Let me see. When he had done speaking, he said unto Simon Peter, launch out into the deep and let your nets yeah. down. Okay, yeah. talking about nets. Uh -huh. Talking about plural. And, and Simon Peter answering him says, Master, we have toiled all night. We have yes. worked all night. We have fished all night. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about professional <coughs> fishermen. Yes. This is their living. Yeah. Okay? They know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But he says, We have we have toiled all night. We have nothing. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. at thy word, I will let down the net. Mm -hmm. One net, singular. Mm -hmm. He says, at your good report, mm -hmm. I'm going to obey your good report, and I'm going to do it, and I'm going to obey what you say. We mm -hmm. need to do this. And sometimes it sounds, uh, <laughs> it don't sound good to you, mm -hmm. but it's, it, it's, it's a good report. Yeah. Right. He told Joshua, send the praisers up front. Uh -huh. <laughs> up front. Amen. God says send the war send the praise up front. I say yeah. okay I'll obey Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to obey if he's telling you what to do, yeah. he's gonna yeah. tell you what to do. You just follow what he says. Right. Yes. Okay, be hearers and obeyers. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. And uh and when they had done this they caught a great multitude of fish and their nets almost broke. Mm -hmm. And they beckoned, they called their partners on the other mm -hmm. ship, on the other. He says, come yeah. and help us. And they came and they filled both ship to almost sinking. Mm. When Simon Peter saw, that, saw this, he fell at the knees. Mm. He fell down at Jesus' knees saying, depart from me. I'm a yes. sinful man. Yes, yes, yes. See, we have mindsets and we know how to do things. Yeah. But God's ways is different. And yes, he told them what to do. He said, oh go and launch out into this and go fish. <laughs> you telling me I'm a professional fisherman. Mm. How can you tell me what to do? I know yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. But he says, I'll obey. Mm. I'll do what you're telling me to do. So he went and he did what God and Jesus told him to do. Yes. And he went, man, they caught so many fish. Mm -hmm. He says, let down your nets. Mm. He let down the net and still caught enough fish for yeah. those two ships to be filled to almost sink. Yes. And he came to Jesus, mm -hmm. nailed, nailed down and says, <laughs> you know, hey, he's saying, depart from me. I'm a sinful man. Mm -hmm. Don't disqualify yourself. Yes, yes. That's right. And don't put yourself down. Yes, amen. Yes. Sometimes we're our biggest enemies. Oh, yes, yeah. amen. And we got to be careful what we yeah. say. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. In Luke 10, just down the road there, mm -hmm. Luke 10, 11, open your Bibles. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read you this because I want to read it also from the Amplified. Amen. Luke 10, I mean 5, 10, and 11. Jesus uh, it chooses uh, some followers. Yeah. It says that John, well, let, me, let, me, let me open it. I want to read it to you first in the... King James, and then I'll read it to you from the Amplified. Amen? Mm -hmm. Says, yes. And so was also uh, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto them, Fear not, for henceforth uh, thou shalt catch men. Mm -hmm. And when they had uh, brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. Remember, they're professional fishermen. Yes. And now they're going to follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. How are we going to make a living? Mm. Following Jesus. Yeah. But the, still, they, they trust. You know, what Jesus did, you know, they caught all that fish. Now, they're back on shore, and Jesus 
they, 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 they go follow Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let me read it to you from the Amplified. What, what scripture was that? Again? It was uh, Luke chapter 5 oh. and verse yeah. 10 and 9. Oh, okay. okay. I'm going to read it from the Amplified now. It says, And so as and so also were James, uh, James and John, the son of Zebedee, mm -hmm. who were partners with Simon Peter. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said unto Simon, Have no fear, for now on you will be catching men. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to be fishermen, fishers of men. Yeah. And not fishers of fish. Yes, he said, you're going to be catching men. Yeah. And verse 11 said, And after they had run their, after they had, uh, run their boats on shore, they left everything and joined him and his disciples and sided with his party and accompanied him. Amen. Accompanied him. Uh -huh. So they left everything behind. Yeah. Some of us have done this. Yeah. Amen. We've had a life change and we left everything behind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he knows what you go through. He yeah. knows what you've gone through. Right. Leaving things behind. And that's yeah. what the fishermen did. Yeah. Professional, professional yes. fishermen. Leave everything behind mm -hmm. and follow him. Amen. Yeah. Man, these stories, these these are good. Yes, so they, are. they left everything behind. Everything to follow Jesus. Whose yeah. report are you gonna believe? Yeah. Simon Peter believed the report of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we, we need to do the same thing. Yeah. We gotta re believe right. his report. Whose report are you gonna believe? Mm -hmm. The doctor? Mm -hmm. The body report? The sick? Yeah. The terminal si uh, sickness? No There's no cure? Mm -hmm. Or are you gonna believe the report of the Lord? Are you gonna believe <laughs> your bills? I mean, hey, they sky high. <laughs> Our job report, you're fired. Yeah. Mm. Our children's report, uh, doing bad mm. you know in jail or whatever you know uh school report mm. your children are failing yeah mm -hmm. whatever negative report your 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 yeah. your reports could be different you know different than mine but still whose report are you gonna believe right. yeah. and are you gonna stand on the word yeah, yeah. i'm not gonna receive the negative reports That's it. i'm gonna stand on what the word of god says right. yeah. we need to this is a daily thing we got to stand on the word of God. Yes, or if somebody do. tells you, you know, hey, your child, you know, they just can't do. Your mm -hmm. child is illiterate. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I'm not receiving that. Yes, I'm standing on the word of God, mm -hmm. you know. Or we can't give you this because of your whatever bad credit. Regardless, still, I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. And I'm going to see the Lord's going to bring me out of this. Amen. Amen. Re regardless. Yes. And you know when the Lord brings you through this, uh -huh. you have an awesome testimony. Yes. And that testimony is going to help somebody else. Yes, Jesus yes. heals a, a man with leprosy. Mm -hmm. Woo. Luke five and just down the road, Luke five, man, it's a popular <laughs> popular chapter here. Yeah. Luke five twelve and four says it came to pass when he was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy. Remember leprosy, if you had leprosy, it's kind of like COVID now, you know, leprosy. No, Jesus. They had to live outside the city. Mm -hmm. They couldn't mingle with people, only with themselves. Yeah. You know, with the, with their little crowd. Mm -hmm. They had their own little town, the only yeah. city. A man full of leprosy, and, and you can't touch him. Yeah. Who seeing Jesus fell to his face and besought him, saying, Lord, if yeah. thy will... Thou can make me clean. Yeah. That's his bad report. Mm -hmm. And Jesus put his hand, put forth his hand and touched it. Yes, he did. You're not supposed to touch lepers. Mm -hmm. What is it about COVID or what is it about anything, man? Yeah. They're coming up with all kinds of new oh, stuff. Gosh. Still, mm -hmm. God is covering everything. Yes. There's nothing new that he That's don't know it. about. Right. Amen. <laughs> He touched it. Oh my God. That was a good thing. Yeah. He says, I will. He says, be thou clean. Yes, he did. And immediately the leopard departed from him. And he charged him to go tell no man, mm -hmm. but go and show yourself to the priest mm -hmm. and offer thy cleansing according to Moses uh, commanded for a testimony mm -hmm. unto those whose report he believed. Mm -hmm. uh, the other gospel talk about they ran to the priest. Mm. And there was 10 of them. Mm. And they were healed. And the other nine ran. One of them came back. One came back. One came back. 
-hmm. and got in his knee on his knees and, and thanked Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He said, where, where, there was 10 of you. Where's the other nine? Mm -hmm. You know, hey, sometimes you, 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 you get blessed. Yeah. And you run after your blessings mm -hmm. and forget about that one that blessed you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One came back. Yeah. Mm. And he gave thanks. Yes, he did. Praise God. Let's not forget who he brought, where he brought you from. Yes, he And you, where you're headed now. Yeah. And, and don't forget to thank him. Amen. Amen. Now, Jesus, same Luke 5. We're just going down the Luke 5 road here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus heals a paralyzed man. Mm -hmm. we, we know this story. I like this story. Mm -hmm. Uh, Luke 5 uh, uh, verses uh, 17 through uh, 24. One day while Jesus was teaching, some Pharisees mm -hmm. and teachers, religi uh, religious leaders uh, were sitting nearby. Yeah. It seemed that these men showed up everywhere Jesus went yeah. as well. <laughs> and and Lord, the, the Lord's healing powers were strong with Jesus. Uh -huh. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a sleeping mat. Uh -huh. They tried to get in to see Jesus. And you know, the place was full. Mm -hmm. They couldn't get in. But they wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> so I don't know who owned this house, but they went up on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> and they tore the roof up. <laughs> and it came right in front of what Jesus was. And Jesus didn't say, hey, you interrupted my, uh -huh. my, my, my meeting here. No, he saw it in faith. Uh -huh. Amen. He saw it in faith. Let me read it here. They had a man in the sleeping mat, and they tried to take him inside to Jesus, but they couldn't reach him because the crowd. Mm -hmm. So they went up to the roof and took some of the tiles off. Mm -hmm. They lowered the sick man on the mat down into the crowd, right in front of Jesus. Now, yeah. how do you figure this out? <laughs> where to tear and where to... They didn't even look inside. The crowd was <laughs> big, but still, yes. they removed those tiles, and they went in straight right in front of Jesus. Up his roof. Amen. You see the owner sitting in the crowd? <laughs> what are y'all doing to my roof? <laughs> Who's going to fix this? <laughs> they lowered him right in front of Jesus, seeing their faith. Amen. Now what will we do? Yeah. We'd be ticked off. Yeah. And Probably. say a few chosen words. Mm. Says, uh-uh, wait a minute. Let's stop this meeting. We need to fix this roof right now. Mm -hmm. No. I'm sure the owner says, hey, Jesus is here and everything's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. You know, that's this temporal thing, you know. Yes. Jesus said unto the man, uh, uh, Jesus said to the man, mm -hmm. young man, your sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. Now the Pharisees <laughs> and the Sadducees, they call them Sadducees because they're always sad now. Mm -hmm. But the Pharisees, and the teachers of religion, the law said unto who does he think he is mm. that's blasphemy only God can forgive sins <laughs> Jesus knew what they were thinking uh -huh. so so he asked them why do you question this in your hearts yeah. it's easier to say your sins be forgiven or uh -huh. stand up and walk yeah. so I will prove to you that the son of man has authority on earth yeah. to forgive sins then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said mm -hmm. stand up Yes. Pick up your mat and go home. Amen. Praise God, you know. Hey, he's told some of us yeah. that so many times. Yeah. You're healed. Yeah. Man. You're healed. Right. And you're standing mm -hmm. on God's word. Yes. And by his stripes, you were you are healed. Yeah. That's it. Amen. You are healed. And he told that man. Mm -hmm. And that was a good report. Man, I received yeah. that myself. You know, I just went through some of this. Yeah. And by Jesus stripes, I am healed. And I just want to thank everybody who's been praying for me. Amen. 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 And immediately, as everyone watched, the man he just didn't struggle to get up. Okay? Bible says, immediately, it says the man jumped up. Yeah. Now he jumped up. He'd been paralyzed, man. You know what I want to do? Man, jump up, start doing some jumping jacks, start doing some exercises. He jumped up, picked up his mat, and went home. Amen? Went home. Listen, praising God. Yes. Praising God. We need to do this. You know, when you're in the worst battles, you know, what you need to do is praise Him. Amen. Lord, you paid this for me. By Jesus' stripes, I am healed. And I'm going to stand on your word, and I'm not changing. 
I'm not changing. Nothing's going to change. Whatever negative report they're giving you, you know, they're giving me several bad reports. And I have to stand on the word of God. And of Amen. course, your prayers. Thank you. Amen. Everyone was griping <laughs> with great wonder and awe. Uh -huh. And they praised God exclaiming. And yes. we have seen amazing things today. Yeah. <laughs> so who's reporting? You don't believe. Amen. Amen. Who's reporting? You don't believe. That's what we, you'll keep hearing that. Yes. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus lives to a death, a death, a death girl, Anna, and heals a sick woman. Mm -hmm. Jesus going down again, Matthew nine eighteen through twenty six. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter nine verse eighteen through twenty six. While Jesus was still talking, a leader of the synagogue came to him. Says leader, bow down. The leader bowed down and uh, before him and says, "My daughter just died, mm -hmm. but if you will come and touch her." With your hand, she will live. So Jesus and his followers went with the man. There's another story on there about a, a general, a, so, yeah. a, a, a soldier, centurion, a centurion, yeah. uh, that uh, came to Jesus. Yes. Okay. And he says, you know, if you come, I mean, and his daughter is is sick. His daughter died, and told Jesus. And Jesus says, I'll come right now. He says no. He says I'm a man. I'm 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 a, I'm a man. There are many. Uh, well, how, how's he saying? I have many men under me. I have authority, and when I speak, they obey, and they do. He says, if you only speak to your word, if you speak, he says, she will be healed. Yes. I said, wow. I haven't yeah. seen this much faith in all this area, <laughs> you know. And he spoke, and daughter lived. Yes. Amen. So. But yeah. this is a little different, but still, they were believing. Yes. He says, I will come. And as Jesus is going, Jesus heals a sick woman with the yes. issue of blood. You, we all read that story before. On the way, there was a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years. Oh my gosh. She came. This is easy to read verses, so it's more English type. Okay, so <laughs> on the way, the woman had been bleeding for 12 years. She came close behind Jesus and touched the bottom of his coat. He didn't yeah. touch Jesus, he touched the garment. Yes. He touched his coat. Okay. Still, she's believing. She has faith and believing for healing. Amen. Yes. So she touched the bottom of his coat. She was thinking, if I can only touch his coat, uh -huh. I will be healed. Yes. That's her faith. That's what her faith was. Amen. Yes. So praise God. <clears throat> Jesus turned and saw the woman. Before this, other other. Uh, 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 other translate uh, 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 the other gospel says that Jesus says somebody touched me. Mm -hmm. He touched the garment and he felt the anointing come out of him, the virtue come out. Mm -hmm. Jesus says somebody touched me. The mm -hmm. disciple says there's a crowd all around you, bumping yes. on you, touching you <laughs> from every which way. Every what do you mean somebody touched yes. you? They've been touching you as you, you mm -hmm. walking through. He said, somebody touched me. He mm -hmm. felt. And he knew. He turned. And yes. the lady was there. And he says, be, says, he turned and saw the woman. He says, be happy, dear yes. woman. Yes. You are made well because you believe. Yeah. When Jesus, then the woman was healed. She believed the report. She believed the report of the Lord. Yes. She believed the report Jesus gave her. Yes. Amen. She is healed. Yeah. But she was believing. Amen. So praise Amen. God. Jesus gives uh, life to the death girl. Jesus continued. Listen to this. Jesus continued on the way. The Jewish leader went inside the house. He saw people there who made music for funerals. Oh, Remember, this is easy to read verse. <laughs> English version. Okay, I've been I've been to wakes. Okay, I used to go there, man. I was a professional waker. <laughs> we go and hey, we cry for the, for the, for the dead. Okay, and he says he saw people there who were making music for funeral, and he saw a crowd of people crying loudly. Man, the louder you cry, the better. You know, the better wake. You know, be proud. Jesus said, "Go away." <laughs> he says, "Go away." Uh, the grill is not dead. Yes, it is. She's only asleep. Mm. 
but the people laughed at him. Yes. He's going to tell you something. And sometimes he's going to tell you yeah. through somebody, messenger, somebody, That's someone it. else. But still, don't laugh at it. Receive. It. Amen. He said they left at him after the people were put out of the house. They told mm -hmm. him, get out. All put them out. You know, sometimes That's we got to do this in our lives. That's you know, it. put some people away. Uh -huh. Get people away from you. Jesus went into the girl's room. Mm -hmm. He held the girl's hand and the girl stood up. Mm -hmm. Good. The, the news about this uh, spread, uh, spread all around. All around, you know. And you know, yes. like I said, people pleaser or God pleaser. Yeah. The yes. choice is yours. Right. Whose report are you going to believe? <laughs> we, we can't finish all this. But anyway, uh, Proverbs uh, 15, 30, easy to read, it says, A smile makes people happy. Yes. A good report makes them feel better. Yes. Give them a good report. Don't give them yes. a sad report. Yes. Whatever report you've been given, mm -hmm. given to you, stand on the word. Yes. Believe the report of the Lord. Amen. You know, I can give you some bad reports. It's, it's impossible. Uh -huh. Good report says, all things are possible. Yes. You're too tired. Good report. I will give you rest. Yes. A bad report says nobody loves you. Uh -huh. A good report says God really loves you. Yes. And I have scriptures on these. Uh -huh. You can't go on. A good report says God's grace is sufficient. Yes, it is. On and on and on. When yes. you get the word of God, yeah. you've got an answer for all yes. your negative yes. reports. Yes. And I'm yes. not going to confess the negative reports That's anymore. It. I'm going to confess the Amen. good reports. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I'll just say, <laughs> you have fear. You fear. Mm -hmm. But God says, I have not given you a yes, spirit of fear. Amen. But a power of love and of a sound mind. Yes, and nowadays, there's more fear yes. than anything. Yes, because it. it frightens people. Oh, yeah. Okay? But when you have God, you know that he's yeah. not giving you a spirit of fear. Right. He's giving yeah. you faith. Right. And you need to increase your faith by sharing by reading his word and spending yeah. time with him. Amen. So Praise let's God. remember that. Bad reports in closing. Mm. <laughs> Bad yeah. reports the night Amen. Jesus was crucified. Hill was rejoicing and spreading the bad reports that Jesus was dead. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The third day, Jesus himself turned the bad report into a good report. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he lived yes. and he rose up. Amen. <laughs> the corner says, he, I am dead. Hell is rejoicing and partying, and the saints are a mourning. Jesus says, uh -huh. the report is wrong. I'm alive and well. Right. Whose report are you going to believe? Remember, it isn't over till Jesus says it's over. Amen. Your body may be telling you something, mm. but Jesus, by his stripes, I am yes. healed. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stand on this. Yes. And body, line up with the word of God and yeah. receive your healing in Jesus' yes, name. Amen. Lord. Satan's report to someone here is, listen, listen, listen. Jesus uh, is that in your life? No, I'm not receiving that. So yes. let's remember to stand on yes. Him. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Woo. Hallelujah. I am. I am glad. Thank you, Father, for your precious word, Lord. Yes. We receive it, Lord, and we want to be hearers and doers of your word, Father. We thank you that we walk by faith and not by sight, Father. For you're not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Praise God. And you know what? We don't want to close. We want to give you an opportunity. If you never made Jesus the Lord of your life, yes. now's the time. Yes. Amen. All you have to do is say, I'm wrong, you Lord. I, I, I sinned against you. Yes. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Right. You know, today, exactly. you'll start a new life with Him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. And start reading His Word mm -hmm. and start believing the good report. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Let's remember that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If you have sickness in your body, I just went through all this. You know, you stand on what the Word of God says. Yes. The Bible says that by Jesus' stripes, you were healed. Yes. Amen. And believe the good report. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That by your stripes, I am healed. healed. Just touch that part of your body or just put your hand over you and yes. the inside, all your organs to be healed in the name of Jesus yes. from head to toe. Receive my healing spirit in front yes. of me. Go in Jesus' name. Yes. No sickness. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I'm receiving my healing right now in Jesus' name. I receive body line up with the word of God and be healed right now in yes. Jesus' name. Somebody watching, receive your healing. Yes. Amen. You, he Lord. died for your for your sins. Yes. And he he uh, 
he, by, by his stripes you are healed. So yes. just remember that we're standing on the word, not just on anything. We're standing on the word of God. Yes. And I'm receiving my healing. I receive you for you. Amen. You receive yes. for yourself. Amen. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord. I'm excited. So anyway, time to give. Those of you watching, listening, you like to give. Woo, your tithing offers. Just go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that button there. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. Anyway, I just want to say thank you for all those that have prayed for me. I appreciate it. And uh, we just want to say God loves you and we love you. So God bless you and have a blessed day. Amen.